Welcome back, YouTubers. I'd just like to start with saying thank you for all those that have watched my videos so far. I have almost 200 views on two of my videos. That's really great. I'm really happy about that. And I'd like to just clue you in on why I'm standing in the bathroom. I have a new project today. This project is installing a new toilet seat on our toilet. We bought this house about three years ago, and it was a foreclosed home when we bought it. We only spent 48000 on it, and it's a really nice home for the size it is. It's only about 875 square feet, so it's not quite big enough for what we need, but it'll do for now. There's been its problems in this house, but I've slowly began to fix them, and since I have plenty more left, I decided to make some YouTube videos to show people how it's done. I didn't realize it, but at one point we had a leaky pipe behind our sink, and it started to create a problem in our laundry room. I noticed that there was a little bit of wet drywall and a little puddle on the floor, and I went ahead, removed the drywall in there, and figured out that the drywall was rotted, so I removed it, cleaned it up, and had to remove the drywall in the bathroom as well because they connect. When I removed the drywall, I also had to remove the old sink. The old sink wasn't very good anyway. I didn't like it, my wife didn't like it, so we decided to get rid of it. It's kind of big, kind of bulky, and really ugly. There was also a cabinet on the wall. We decided to get rid of that as well. It was too big for what we needed. We just kept storing more and more junk in it. So we got rid of that. And now we're left with a blank wall with a hole in it. There's several updates I need to do in the bathroom, one of which is I have to stick a new sink back in. We bought this sink at Home Depot. We got it at a discount because it's the last one left of this size. We also bought the countertop with it. We also have a nice fixture for it, but it's in another room. And we came across this little mirror that we like, and so we're going to put that in here. We also have a lighting fixture that we're going to use, and it's out in the garage currently. But today, we're covering how to install a toilet lid. It's an easy project to do, but I figured I would cover it anyway, since it is an easy, easy project for people to do. We first have to start by moving this sink out into the hallway, and I'll give you a more in-depth view of what the bathroom really looks like. The sink has now been moved out into the hallway, along with the mirror and several other items. We come back in to the bathroom, see that I do have a temporary mirror hung. That's where the old fixture was. And we have this hanging over the hole that I had to cover. As you can see, that's the back of our washer. We've lost all of the drywall. Because there, below this, are the sink connections and our modem. <laughs> we have a baby gate up to keep our daughter from playing with the pipes. As you can see, the walls are pink. Not by our choice. They were that way when we moved in. My wife does not like these shower doors at all, so this will probably become a project later on. It has a tub and shower, and there's a little storage cabinet in front of the shower. But today our project is this toilet lid. I'm going to install it because I like a cushy seat. There's nothing really wrong with the toilet seat that's on the toilet now. It still works. It's in pretty good condition. The only thing is, I just don't really like it. It came with the house. It's one of those hard plastic seats. And I prefer a cushion one. We're going to start by popping up these caps on the back of the toilet. For that, we're going to use a flathead screwdriver. Just slide the screwdriver in, pop them up. Next, we're going to remove the plastic bolts that hold the toilet lid to the toilet. For that, we're going to use a flathead screwdriver and a crescent wrench.
Now that we have the plastic bolts removed, we're going to lift the toilet seat off of where it was sitting. This is what I meant by the plastic clips, plastic covers. Just stick them in there, pop them right on. Some of the older toilet lids, instead of having plastic bolts, actually have metal bolts. Sometimes they're corroded and they need to be cut off. Bang out the new bolts, open up the packaging. Take the nuts off the end. This toilet lid has a different design than the other one. Instead of having the caps that pop up on the ends, they actually have a groove. And what's going to happen is the square end is going to slide in and secure to hold it onto the toilet. On these, we're going to insert them this way into the holes on the back of the toilet. And we're going to secure this piece below it. You want to leave them a little loose when you first put them on so that you have enough room to slide them to the channels on the bottom of the toilet lid. All you have to do is slide it to one side, slide the square head in, Pull it all the way over, angle your bowl a little bit, slide the other one on. Then once you have it in place, go ahead and tighten down your bolts. You can usually do this just by hand to start. Now that we have them snug by hand, we're going to use pliers to go ahead and snug them up just a little bit more. You don't want to over tighten them because they are made of plastic. Since they're made of plastic, they can break. Just lightly tighten them. Two to three good turns with a pair of pliers should do it. It should be nice and secure. Note that you have it tight enough when it doesn't slide across the toilet seat anymore. Now the toilet seat is installed and ready to use. The tools used in this video were a flathead screwdriver, a crescent wrench, and a pair of pliers. This job took about 10 minutes to complete. Sometimes it's necessary if you have metal bolts to use a Dremel or a hacksaw to remove the old bolts. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to try out the new toilet lid. And if you found this video helpful, please click subscribe. And please rate the video and leave a comment. Thank you for watching Fix It and Build It from Ohio. I hope you'll join me for a future video.